is Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. I want to welcome you tonight to Fly Tying Night. I apologize for a absence last week. Um, just not feeling a hundred percent, so <clears throat> missed a week, but we're back and ready to go. Today we're going to be tying up a kind of a high vis blue wing olive pattern that we use in fish. Um, blue wing olives are a very, very vital food source to fish in the early spring, the fall, and even during the winter in a lot of areas. So we'll be tying up this pattern here for you tonight. We want to invite you to like your favorite videos. Um, and hopefully this one's one of those. Like them. Drop us a comment, say hi, ask, a, ask us a question. We enjoy answering the questions or saying hello back. Please make sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications of future videos in the future. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. For our hook today, we're going to be tying on the Moonlit ML052. I'm going to be tying this in a size 16. We tie this all the way down to a size 20 and even as large as a size 14 at times. But 16 is a great size to tie. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that tonight. Okay. For the thread, I'm going to be using a olive dun color. This is Semperfly's spider thread. This is the 18 aught in a medium or an olive dun. And I'm just going to start this roughly about two thirds of the way there up the hook shank. Get me a nice good thread base there. It's important to make sure I put a good thread base down so that when I put my and tie my CDC wing in that it doesn't rotate so <clears throat> for my wing I'm using some fluorescent yellow CDC from Swiss CDC company I'm gonna take two by its okay I'm going to stack them on top of each other and even the tips out. And then I'm just going to kind of pull all the fibers forward. And then I'll measure those out to equal the length of the hook shank. And we'll tie those in. Pull those up, play a, lay a nice thread base there as well. Now I'm just going to pull that CDC upwards and I'm going to cut it at an angle. Don't throw away these because I use them on my next fly. I can get a couple flies out of those. We'll just Secure that in. Stand that wing up with a thread dam. And I don't like to just put a dam right there at the base. I kind of like to level that thread dam up along the front so that when I wrap in my hackle I have a good foundation that's not super uneven. We'll wrap this thread back here to the bend of the hook. Now I'm using some um, medium done CDL 
tailing fibers. I'm just going to take a small little clump here, even out the tips, pull them off. I only want a couple of them, I don't want a whole lot. I don't need a big bushy tail. Now I'm going to measure that out to be the length of the hook shank. If it's a little bit long, it's better that it's a little long than short. It is a dry fly. Secure that in. Now I'm going to take and cut those out to kind of help even out the taper on this. Wrap back towards the back. I'm going to lift up that tail. I'm going to place two wraps behind the tail that kind of helps stand that up. Okay, now I'm going to be using a Calabatus colored Nature Spirit Wild Turkey Bard by it. Okay, I've already put it in my water. You can see it's got some water on that that's going to moisten it up. See where my bar is on that, and I can see it without doing that, but I just so. If you don't know where that is, I'm going to send the ridged part of this turkey by it on the bottom side. We'll secure that in. Again, I'm going to use this turkey by it. To help even out that body. I will wrap up here to the back of the wing. I'm going to whip finish this right here so I can wrap my bayat with my rotary. Set my thread off to the side there. I like to wrap my bayets with my loon hackle pliers. When I wrap this, I want that ridge to be facing the back side of this fly. So now we're just gonna wrap this by it forward. And that's going to give us a nice good segmented body secure that in now we'll just trim it out okay I'm just going to kind of put another couple wraps there just to help stand it up just a little bit more. I'm going to take a dark done whiting feather from a a mid saddle. We'll just tie that in here. I'm 
Now I like to pull that feather forward and give it two wraps behind. That just kind of helps make sure and stand it up. Now we'll finish securing in that hackle stem. Now we'll just give it some wraps. It's usually about two or three wraps behind this wing is what I like. I don't want to push that wing forward so I wrap up to the the wing. I pull the wing back give it about four wraps in front I use that hackle stem to kind of help push that wing backwards now we can whip finish this off here And I like this fluorescent color for my wing just so on this smaller size fly I can track it a little bit easier. I'll just trim out those few unruly pieces there. And there you have your high vis blue wing olive and we appreciate you watching us tonight and joining us for fly time night we look forward to being with you next week as we tie up another pattern and we hope you enjoy tying up some of these blue wing olives in this hive is pattern here you guys have a wonderful evening make sure you like your favorite video drop us a comment hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications and you have a wonderful evening